My name is Richard Wood and I work for Seferin Software as VP for International Business Development. I'm meeting today with Rusty Johnson to answer a question I'm often asked by customers and prospects. What is different about our new risk application Seferin Risk and why would I move from Pertmaster, which I use today, to use Seferin Risk? Of course, this is especially relevant given that Pertmaster is no longer being further developed and is being supported only. Rusty, you led the previous Pertmaster team in developing the original product and you helped us design and build Suffer and Risk. In fact, we hired some of your old team here as well, who brought all their experience and lessons learned from developing Pertmaster with them. So let me begin by asking you, what would you say is the most significant takeaway from your Pertmaster experience that guided your thinking in designing Suffer and Risk? Thanks, Richard. Well, I suppose my biggest takeaway has to be that I think, although Pertmaster was functionally a very rich um, product, um, it probably became a bit too complex. Uh, I think we were so busy trying to cater for expert users um, and to the, de uh, the demands from the market that somehow we just forgot to uh, focus on, on the actual uh, risk analysis process. And the result of that is that s some of the ideas that were in Pertmaster just um, didn't conflict with other ideas that were in Pertmaster. So, for example, risk factors and the risk register uh, should really be the same thing, but that they, they don't play very nicely together. So, in short, the the end result was uh, a comprehensive product, but one that's not too not too easy to use because it's got too many ways of doing things, and not streamlined enough uh, because there's, there's, there isn't a, a process to fl uh, to follow. So what were our design goals for Safran Risk? Well, obviously, uh, Safran Risk is a quantitative uh, schedule risk tool. Um, but one of our primary goals was to uh, make it easier to use than Pertmaster, but not simplified. So we, we are looking to try and create something that has the same uh, depth uh, that, that Pertmaster had but probably done in a slightly more unified way. Now, what I mean by that is, for example, um, in Pertmaster, as I mentioned before, you had all these uh, potentially conflicting ideas, uh, like, for example, risk factors. In Safran Risk, uh, there is just one quantitative risk register, and that contains all of the uh, risks and uncertainty, events, factors, weather modeling, correlation. It's all defined in one place, which makes it a much more sort of coherent and, uh, I guess, a kind of grown-up, uh, way of looking at the problem um, and ultimately um, to make it easier to use uh, we really wanted the process to it wanted the UI to be much more sort of process driven so you knew where you were in the process at, uh, at any one time. Okay can we have a look at some of this then Rusty and just see how it does all work together? Let's just quickly remind ourselves what the process is for doing a quantitative risk analysis. First of all we need to uh, get a schedule then we need to validate it, then we need to create some risks, uh, model and analyze uh, um, the, the schedule, review the results, and ultimately when you finish that report back. So let's just remind ourselves how this looks in Pertmaster. On the left hand side you'll see the, the, the process that you need to go through, but this isn't really linked to, to what you see in, in the tool itself, it's just a guide to help you. Um, because Pertmaster itself is really a scheduling tool. You have access to all of these features and functions all of the time. All of the risk modeling that you need to do is available here on the risk, mod on the risk menu. But as I mentioned before, not all of these um, tools uh, work together quite as seamlessly as they perhaps should. And then finally, you have the reports here, which again is a mix of scheduling, schedule checking, and some of these are risk reports. In short, it's, it, it's not as streamlined as it should be. So by contrast, let's take a look at how this is done in Safran Risk. Um, at the top here, you'll see some tabs. This is effectively the process that you need to work through. So you start at the left um, with a schedule, and you'll see that all of the scheduling functionality that you need is under that one tab. Then you move across the process, validating the schedule with our integrated schedule checking. Here we define the risks, uh, and this is the quantitative risk register I mentioned earlier and you move through you can define additional correlation if you need map the risks to the schedule and then finally uh, you can analyze here now the important thing to note I suppose at this stage is everything to the left of the analyze button these are all inputs to the model and to the right these are all the outputs to the model these are all the things that are calculated from doing the risk analysis
Rusty, I noticed a schedule there. How important is that to the way this product works? Well, it's absolutely at the centre of a quantitative schedule risk analysis. It's the, the heart and soul, if you like. Uh, we need a scheduler that's uh, robust um, and, um, and accurate. It needs to be able to handle um, different relationship types, resources, calendars, um, and it needs to be uh, fast. Um, it, it's, it's not only important for the analysis, if you think about the, the actual risk process that we talked about before, there is, um, after you review the results, there is this iterative step where you need to go in and manage uh, the, the schedule and probably change it. If that process involves you having to go back and re-import import the schedule every time you want to make a change, the whole process becomes much more um, uh, time consuming. Whereas in Safran Risk, what happens is you, you have access to a full scheduling environment under this tab. So you can go through, you can modify calendars, resources, relationships, activities, it's all there. Um, and I guess one of the big differences uh, between Perkmaster and Safran, because obviously Perkmaster could do those things as well, is that Safran is uh, built on a database. So it's much more geared uh, towards uh, uh, an enterprise user who perhaps wants to share and collaborate on a schedule. Um, that having said that, it does also work uh, standalone, so you can just run it on a desktop. Thanks, Rusty. Tell me, what improvements have you made in Safran Risk over Pertmaster in understanding the impact of these risks and how you go about reporting on them? Well, I think we've made two really big improvements. Um, by, by separating out uh, the risks into a risk register, um, we're able to always show you a, the task sensitivity, which is shown on the right here, um, versus the risk sensitivity. Um, this, this got quite confusing in Perkmaster and it's much clearer in, in Safran Risk. The second thing is um, often people wanted to know not just which is the most sensitive risk but also um, what is the time and dollar impact of that risk and to do that we've added a new report called the Sensitivity Analysis uh, and this is done really by a process called uh, Sensitivity by Exclusion. So what we do is we rerun the analysis lots of times and each time we remove one risk and each run represents one of those curves. So I'm just going to turn some of these um, curves off to make it a little bit more clear. So what, what happens here is the black curve represents the curve when all of the risks are in. That's the normal output from, from the risk uh, analysis. The grey greeny curve here um, is what happens when e-communication is turned off and you can see it, uh, the project finishes significantly earlier. Now, in order to do this, to calculate these numbers, uh, we have to ask another question, which is at what confidence level you want to work at. So here we're working at 80%. So we can read across 80% and where the lines cross, that tells us um, the amount of time that could be saved if that risk didn't exist. And that allows us to calculate both a, um, a duration value and the cost value. But it allows us to look side by side and see the cost impact of a risk versus the duration impact of a risk. And we can also um, change the um, confidence level to ask the question at a, a different value. So if I move this to 40%, um, you can see we can read across the value at 40% here and we'll actually get different values in this tornado. So what I really like about this, it, it's very transparent as to what's going on. There's no magic. It, it is the sort of analysis that people were doing uh, manually in Pertmaster, but here it's all been automated for you. Thanks, Rusty. That was very clear. Before I wrap up, finally, is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, just that I think Safran Risk has the potential to be um, a much better product than, than Pertmaster ever was. Uh, and that's for a, a number of reasons. Uh, number one, it's built around a really robust uh, scheduler. Uh, number two, it's got the benefit of hindsight uh, of all the mistakes and good things that we did at Pertmaster. Uh, and number three, I think the team at Safran reminds me a lot of Pertmaster in the good old days. Um, they're really responsive. They want to make a difference. Um, and, I, and I think they can. Thank you, Rusty. I wanted to quickly summarise what we've covered today. We wanted to answer the question, why would I move from Pertmaster to Safran Risk? And to answer this question, you highlighted a number of features that you helped design into Safran Risk based on your experience at Pertmaster. These include the fact that Safran Risk is based on a really robust scheduler, which is critical to the performance and depth of functionality that we provide. 
you describe risk factors that support accurate modeling. And you showed how easy Saffron Risk is to use, even given the robust algorithms that it provides. And we looked at some of the great reports that never made it into Pertmaster, but make Saffron Risk so powerful. So I want to leave you with one final thought. At Saffron, we pride ourselves on being very responsive and very open. Customers can call in directly to the team, make suggestions or discuss any issues they have, and we encourage that. So if anyone listening to this video would like to trial Saffron, we'll happily provide a free 30-day trial. To organize this, please contact me, or if you're from the Americas, you can contact Jeff Russell directly, and details are on this slide here. And please join us on our journey.